Install the lid gasket and impeller cover. In order to seal the lid opening properly, the gasket has to be moist. Remove the gasket from the plastic bag. Carefully fit the gasket into the channel around the base of the lid. Now, position the impeller cover over the impeller. Push down on the two tabs until it clicks into place. Put the lid on the canister. There is no need to pour water into the canister before closing it. The Instant Prime system will siphon aquarium water into the unit automatically during startup. Making sure the MSF logo is aligned and the power cord fits into the notch in the rim. Lock the lid in place. The filter canister is ready. Place it in its final position. Insert the Aquastop valve into the connectors on the lid and push down on the silver lever to lock it in place. Open the Aquastop valve by pushing the black lever all the way down. You're almost ready to turn your new filter on. But first, check your installation. Be sure that the lid lock fasteners are securely closed. The Aquastop valve is fully open with the black lever all the way down and that the intake assembly and the output nozzle are both fully immersed in water. Now you can start the filter. Pump the instant prime handle up and down until you hear water being drawn into the canister. As water fills the canister, it will push air out of its way. The air will be expelled through the output nozzle, causing agitation. It's important for the Aquastop valve to be fully open. Once the bubbling in the tank stops, you know that the air is out of the system and the canister is full. It's time to plug the filter into an electrical outlet. A word of caution before you do. Do not plug the filter in unless the canister is full. Running the filter without water could cause serious damage. When the canister is full, as soon as you plug the filter in, the pump will immediately start. If, for some reason, your filter doesn't start pumping when you plug it in, check to make sure that there are no kinks or loops in the hosing. The base of the canister is not more than four and a half feet or 1.4 meters below the water level. The water level is not more than seven inches or 17.5 centimeters below the rim of your aquarium. That the Aquastop valve is fully open. If everything checks out, continue pumping the instant prime handle until the filter starts to run on its own. Media changes are an important aspect of aquarium maintenance. The Fluval Series 5 filters make this task easy. To maintain its effectiveness, media must be cleaned or replaced regularly. In general, it's a good idea to plan on doing some routine maintenance about once a month. To access the media, you'll need to drain the canister. First, Close the Aquastop valve. This seals the input and output connections to maintain the vacuum in the system. Then unplug the filter. Now lift the silver lock lever to release the Aquastop valve and hosing. There's no need to disconnect the hosing from the Aquastop valve. For routine media changes, just leave the hosing connected to the Aquastop valve. Carry the filter to your work area. Be sure to grip the canister, not the lid, and keep it upright. Take off the lid, and holding the media cover in place, tilt the canister, and pour out as much water as you can. Next, slide out the foam screen frame. 
Then lift out the stack of baskets. The foam screen and media baskets will be saturated with water. So if your sink isn't big enough to hold them, be sure to have a large bucket nearby. Once you have emptied the canister, rinse it out with clear water. Never use soap or detergent to wash the canister, the baskets, the frame, or any other filter parts. Traces of any cleaning product you have used could remain on the surfaces you've washed and harm your fish. Before beginning to work with the media, be sure you have read the instructions on the packages. Check your baskets, rinsing each as you go. Discard media that needs to be discarded and replace it with new. Never change all the media at once. Stagger the timing of media changes so some older material remains in use. This ensures the reseeding of beneficial bacteria. Once you're done with all the baskets, restack them, rinse the cover, and place the stack back in the canister. Rinse the foam and the foam frame, and slide the frame back into the canister. And media care is complete. The impeller well is self-cleaning. Even so, you should inspect it as part of routine care and clean it if necessary. To remove the impeller cover, press and squeeze the tabs and lift it off. If the impeller needs cleaning, gently grasp the fan and draw the impeller from the well. The shaft is fragile, so handle it carefully. Also, as you remove it, be sure not to unseat the rubber support at the base of the well. Rinse the impeller under running water. If the well needs cleaning, wipe it gently with a fluval cleaning brush. Replace the impeller in the well. As you put the cover back on, be sure to align the shaft so it's seated in the ring. Press the cover into place. Then press the tabs outward. Before you reassemble the canister filter, check the rubber gasket. Over time, this may begin to dry out. To prevent this from happening, lubricate the gasket during regular maintenance using fluval lubricant or petroleum jelly. Put the lid back on. Lock it. And put the filter back in position. Reinsert the Aquastop valve. Push the silver lever all the way down to lock it in place. Push the black lever down to open it all the way. And immediately, water will start flowing back into the canister. Once the canister is completely filled with water, plug the filter back in. For detailed information about fluval media, filter specifications, and replacement parts, please refer to your instruction manual. We hope you enjoy your new Fluval Series 5 filter. For further assistance, please contact customer service or visit our website at www.hagen.com.